Hi guys, welcome to the On Wheels TV review about the FVR Factor V8 Supercars 2014 mod for R Factor 2. We did present this um, new mod earlier on a newsflash video report, and uh, as promised, here is the review, the review video. So first of all, um, some people got in touch with us after. Um, viewing the news flash video complaining about the quality of this mod so just to be clear uh, on something uh, let me just say a couple of things first um, we don't do reviews or present news flash videos of content uh, of content of low quality so to to be able to to be here um, reviewed or presented the mod has to be some in some manner good or just good that's the first thing I'd like to say the second thing I'd like to say is that when we are talking about uh, a mod that we are presenting or reviewing and um, taking into account that this is uh, released for free for users it will, it will really be difficult for you guys to hear from us saying that the mod is bad ain't gonna happen guys we don't do that. We have a lot of respect for the guys who spend lots and lots of hours creating a content for people to use for free. So that deserves our and we believe also all the community's respect and so therefore we don't do it. And that being said, um, about the about this uh, this release, the mod is good. The mod, I'm going to I'm going to repeat this. This mod is good. First of all, these guys from FVR, they um, had tremendous amount of work creating five cars, five cars, five cars with five different uh, behavior on track, and five cars with five different engines. We are going to talk about the cars later in the video. Um, first of all, we, we talk a little bit just about the content, and then we will talk specifically about each car in the video. So the mod is good. We did. We did find that this uh, mod is uh, the cars are a little bit easier to drive, uh, just a little bit, compared to uh, V8 Supercars uh, mods for for GameStop Car Extreme or the the two available V8 Supercars cars for iRacing. This car is a little bit easier to drive, but I must warn you, uh, this car. Uh, wears a lot the tires so maybe it's not that easy as you think it's easy on handling but it's not so easy on managing the car and managing the mechanics uh, to be able to achieve a good result uh, the cars work really well um, the 3d or the 3d or the um, or the skins uh, need improvement in our opinion uh, with 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 a lot of respect from the guys who, who worked in the 3D and the guys who, who created the skins for the mod, um, they do need um, to be better. Uh, although they are not uh, bad, but they could be better. Um, and that's pretty much what we have to say a minus uh, for this release because we do think that this mod is really good. It will be for sure. Uh, an excellent choice for guys trying to host championships with V8 supercars and it's for, for the first time they will have the chance to, to see simulations of the, the series with, with all the cars involved such as in the real series so uh, we do think that this mod is an excellent release and we do um, we, we would like to applaud um, these guys from FVR because they work like hell to create this content I'm sure they had no help from anyone. Uh, sometimes there are mothers that be that count on some help from manufacturers or allowing to get access to data about the cars. These guys, I believe, these guys, I believe, they didn't have any help. So what they did is absolutely brilliant, and that's it. Who doesn't like those who don't agree with me? Okay, um, that's this is the free world. We all have. Uh, are entitled to our opinion. This is my opinion. Um, so um, the cars are really fun to drive. Uh, the mod is really interesting. 
should provide for excellent racing because the cars are, are heavy uh, they have also a lot of volumes it's, it's, it won't be easy for overtaking maneuvers and it won't be easy especially because you will have to handle the tires and the brakes because they will suffer uh, a lot within these cars and that should be also interesting um, which will for forcing sim racers to manage the cars from the start till the end of the race so uh, pretty simple the mod is good you should try it you should download it and you should have lots of fun with the with the mod uh, congratulations uh, to the guys from FVR Factor and um, now we will go for a um, specific uh, an analysis of each car uh, also in this uh, very interesting track also used in the racing in the supercars series which is Simmons Plains so uh, this is the first car which is the Mercedes-Benz E63 AMG um, all the cars have different engines and of course different sounds for the engines which is one of the good things um, we could identify in this mod. Another good thing that for us, in our opinion, makes this a good mod is that all the cars have equal performance. All they drive differ differently, but all of them are able of achieving this, the same lap times, which is great. This makes a good mod. There are mods from the high, the, from the best modders in the world for, sev for several cars in the same mod competing in the same class and then the cars have different performances and once a driver tries to to race a championship with that mod you will find that almost all the drivers chose the same car because the car is faster or because or because the car is the, the best in terms of performance here the cars are all able of the same performance although they all drive differently for instance this Mercedes is a lot a lot smooth in the in in the performance and in its behavior on track um, we did enjoy the torque of the engine and the way that the car is the way that we can handle the car on track um, we didn't really really enjoy this car the car is heavy almost all of them are in this in this uh, mod almost all the cars are really heavy as a v8 supercar should be um, but it's it's possible to handle the car even in, in a narrow and small track such as uh, such as this one Simmons Plains so we did really enjoy this car and um, it is one of the news in this in this mod because it, it is one of the cars that was never simulated for um, for a uh, for a mod um, on R Factor 2 or any other so yeah great Mercedes The second car we are showing from this FVR Factor mod for R Factor 2 is the uh, Ford Falcon FG, which is a car that will be replaced soon in an update they are planning on releasing soon, uh, which includes this this car and the Olden, which will receive the the, the look of the 2015 car. So first of all. When we say that uh, the mod is good or not good, let's be fair with these guys, this is work in progress. So there are things to develop and there are things to improve and there will be for sure improvements because um, it's the way to go and I'm sure they are on this path also. So this is still work in progress. That being said, uh, so this is one of the older cars in the series. Um, in the real series it was already updated uh, to a new layout and uh, it will also be updated here uh, to a new layout the car is also heavy is also is also smooth it is it works really well for instance on this track the engine works uh, really well in, in, in gears it has always a lot of torque and a lot of power available and um, it is a fun car to drive probably um, users of this mod will be curious about the three new cars but uh, you guys should not should not neglect this one this is a great V8 supercar model and um, for sure a car that also 
Ford fans will enjoy driving here. Um, I don't know if you are paying attention, but both from the onboard lap from, and also from the TV cam lap, I, I'm sure you were able to notice the difference in the sound um, in this car in comparison with uh, with the Mercedes. And you, you will also be sh watching this or listening to this in the other cars. So yeah, this Ford Falcon FG, uh, which will be replaced by the FGX, is also a great car. And this is the other car which will be replaced soon. This is the olden Commodore F, uh, VF and it will be re uh, released, uh, updated soon. Uh, and the new car will be the, this olden Commodore but the 2015 version. So this is probably the most uh, known car from, from V8 supercars, virtually speaking. Because this car is, um, has been released recently. Um, on iRacing, uh, the iRacing version of this car, also on um, Stock Car Extreme, although there with a different um, name, but is the same car. And now here, um, one of the one of the cars we we most enjoyed on this track, and with the best, uh, one of the best sounds for sure. Um, truly pure sound, as a V8 supercar engine is. Um, the car is performant here. Uh, we believe that will be th that this car will be performant in most of the tracks, but uh, this will be performant in all the others because they all are so different on track. Uh, the way they perform, the way they uh, must uh, be uh, dealt with, they are so different. Because also in terms of weight, um, and you feel that when driving the car, but um, they are all so equal in terms of performance which is something really that really impressed us in this in this mod um, listen to this sound the sound is great and and the way the car performs is also great it's it, it dances on track and uh, we sure do remember the guys from the v8 supercars series dancing with these cars on track and negotiating the curbs and um, taking advantage taking advantage of the performance of the car although it is a heavy car and difficult to drive and also here users will find the, the car easy at first but once they try to take the best out of it and, uh, and manage the, the car's performance throughout a space, uh, a space in time they will notice that these cars are difficult to drive yeah we did enjoy also this olden Commodore VF Guys, this is the Nissan Altima, and probably, first of all, the, the, the car, in our opinion, which reflects more the spirit of the V8 Supercars concept, which is a big car, um, super powerful, and a big car in terms of volume, and look at this car, it is huge, it is huge, this car. Uh, also, probably, in our opinion, this is the car with the best sound. We do love the sound of this car, especially once on board the car, and you will notice that soon. Um, also, another thing about this car: this car, after you drove, you you drive them all, you'll notice that this car looks and feels like the heaviest, but also it looks, it feels, it feels like a missile. The car is fast, is powerful. And although during a lap you, you are thinking, I'm getting slower with this car than with the others. Oh boy, this car is slower than the others. Once you look at the chrono, at the lap time, you'll notice that that is simply not true. The car is as fast as the others. It just is different on track. Um, and once again, we would like to highlight this because it is really important once you are trying to find a good mod. Uh, to, to drive and enjoy several cars or to race to actually enter races online races something we believe it is in truly important in the mod is that all the cars are equal in terms of performance well the, this is the case here and we will not get tired of mentioning this and of highlighting this to you guys because it is something really good in this in this mod the cars drive differently and they all are able of reaching the same lap times and the same level of performance which is absolutely brilliant 
and um, wow what a sound guys this is truly a great sound for a car for a V8 supercar and yeah this this Nissan Altima rocks it definitely rocks and last but not least another different car another another different sound and another different uh, performance on track for the same results so this is the Volvo S60 um, and is probably although this is arguable or debatable it is probably the less achieved graphically of all the cars um, we do like the lines of this car but we believe that graphically this car this car as all the all the cars could be better um, but hey uh, this is to this is work in progress maybe they'll prepare something better for the future because the cars uh, are not bad looking they just could be better uh, who knows maybe one guy such as Tosh uh, decides to work with these guys and improve a little bit the image of the cars um, this is not a remark this is just a comment uh, and we do like the cars in graphically although we once again they could be better um, the Volvo seems of all the three cars the fastest when you drive the Volvo maybe because of the engine or how the engine performs or how the gear ratio is established the, the, the base uh, setup for gear ratio it feels like the fastest uh, it isn't it is as the other cars it has the same level of performance uh, of the other cars but it does look once you are when you are driving it does feel like it is the fastest of the three um, okay so this is a great release by these guys we do in, we do really enjoy this release and this mod and we do believe that people once they get used to the cars will also enjoy it so yeah uh, congratulations FVR factor you guys did it great mod we do appreciate and thank you and thank you all for watching bye bye